how to mail packages. Make sure that whatever you're shipping arrives safely with these tips. You will need a sturdy box, newspaper and bubble wrap, heavy duty plastic, an inside address label, two inch wide packing tape, and the right zip code. Optional, insurance, and air popped popcorn. Step one, don't try to get away with an old shoe box or disposable diaper carton. The US Postal Service recommends a double corrugated box. Step two, wrap fragile items in newspaper, bubble wrap, or other packaging. If you're shipping clothes, wrap them in heavy duty plastic in case the packaging gets wet. Plain air popped popcorn is an environmentally friendly substitute for styrofoam packing peanuts. Step three, tuck the name and address of the recipient inside the package in case something happens to the mailing label. Step four, if you're sending something with batteries, pack them separately so the item doesn't switch on in transit. Step five, secure the package with two inch wide packing tape which is specifically made for shipping. Regular tape and masking tape are not durable enough. Step six, write the recipient's address legibly and include the zip code. If you're unsure of it, look it up at usps.com. Include your return address. An incorrect zip code will delay your package longer than no zip code at all. Step seven, select a delivery method. The fastest option is express, followed by priority. The cheapest but slowest domestic option is ground delivery, known as parcel post. You can also choose priority flat rate shipping, where one fee is charged for whatever you can fit into one of four specially sized boxes. Packages that are 13 ounces or less can be put in any mailbox as long as they fit and have the correct postage. Step eight, consider buying insurance. If you're insuring your package for less than $500, you can do it at usps.com. You can also use the site to calculate and download postage. Step nine, save a trip to the post office by giving packages up to 70 pounds to your regular mail carrier. There's no limit to how many express, priority, parcel return, and international packages you can hand over. For a fee, you can also call or go online to arrange a pickup time. Did you know? Postal workers call the Monday before Christmas Black Monday because it's one of the busiest shipping days of the year.